Hi there everyone on YouTube, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial for everyone who's been watching my how to mix and master audio using Audacity, uh, mastering audio tutorial where everyone's having a lot of trouble installing the W1 limiter. So I'm going to basically show you how to install Audacity and also install the W1 limiter which is what you need for that tutorial. I'm going to start from my website jeffmobile.com and I'm going to go to the search box and I'll type in mastering audio, enter, and it's the, the first option is the tutorial how to master recorded audio using free software tools, tutorial by jeffmobile.com. Now I'm going to be showing this tutorial for a Windows 7 PC running a 64-bit computer and it's uh, Unfortunately, I don't really have a tutorial like this for the Mac yet, but uh, if you have Windows, hopefully this video will be helpful to you. So below this video, there's going to be a link to George Young's W Unlimiter for PC or Mac, so we'll come to that in a moment. First, let's go to Audacity, so go to audacity.sourceforge.net by clicking the link here, and the latest version of Audacity is 2.0.5, which is great. So I will click here, download Audacity. I'm actually using Google Chrome for this demo, so you can use Google Chrome or any other browser that you like. Audacity is downloaded, so now I'm gonna go open and click run. And it'll ask me a question, so I'll say yes. And I'll say English and next, next and click next again. Notice that the program Audacity is going into the program files x86 directory and now that directory is actually for 32-bit programs so when you're using plugins with Audacity you have to use the 32-bit version of the plugin. A lot of plugins will come in both a 64-bit version and a 32-bit version so for example when we're using the W1 limiter we'll have to use the 32-bit version of the DLL. The DLL is like the plugin file. So I'll click next and I will leave the preferences as is but I'll allow it to create a desktop icon and install. So that's going to install Audacity and give you some help here. Let's see, give some legal documents, changes and improvements, good. Next and let's uh, launch Audacity to make sure it works. So it loads. This is what it looks like for me. Hopefully it looks like this for you as well. If your window is too small, you may want to maximize the window like that. Okay, so now I'm going to check, see what's here. You'll notice that there's no W1 limiter here, but we do have SC4, which is important for my tutorial. SC4 is a nice compressor. And so let's get W1 limiter installed now. So I'll close Audacity. Now if you notice, Audacity would have appeared in your start menu. So if you go to programs here, under Audacity, there it is, so I can launch it by clicking there. So that's great. So next I'm gonna install W1 Limiter, so I'll go to the Jeff Mobile page here, and the W1 Limiter is an amazing mastering tool, professional quality limiter that's available for free. George Young is amazing, uh, great software, so I'll click the link here, open up George Young's webpage. I really hope that George keeps this page going because it's a really amazing limiter. So this is where you download the W1 limiter for your machine. I recommend if you have Windows, download the W1 limiter-win.zip. He says it's in beta, but I must say it works really well, and it's been in beta for years, and it always seems to work great. So uh, that, I, it's a really worthwhile limiter to use. So now I'm going to click W1 limiter here, and it's downloading. I don't know where it's downloading to. We'll find out. So after it finishes downloading, I'll click show in folder and you can see it's gone into my downloads folder. You can see all my downloads that I've got recently and I will right click on it with the mouse and choose extract all, which is down here, extract all. And that will create a folder. So I will, this, this creates the extracted files inside a subfolder under under downloads. So just leave it how it is and click extract. And now a window pops up with the three files for W1 limiter. I would select, because we have a 32-bit version of Audacity, 
Even if your computer is a 64-bit machine, you'll have to use the the 32-bit uh, version of the DLL, which is this one here. So I'll select it and I'll go Control C on the keyboard to copy. Nothing happens, but if you hit Control C, it will actually copy it. Uh, if you don't want to do Control C, you can always right-click and just go copy. Okay, so either way it will work. Go into your program files, so that on my computer, go to C drive, and under program files, x86, and Audacity. I have an old version of Audacity here, I just renamed Audacity old, but the one we want to do is Audacity, and then there's a directory called plugins. So here I'll click plugins, and these are your existing plugins that you already have. I'm gonna put, uh, paste the WN limiter DLL, so I'll go right click and I'll go paste. It'll ask me for permission, click continue, and there it is, so now it's there. But Audacity will not automatically pick this limiter up in its uh, software unless you tell it to do so. So first of all, let's launch Audacity. So go to your start menu and go to programs and find Audacity in there. It's just loading for a second, there it is. Click Audacity and Audacity will load. If you go to effects, notice that, oh, WN limiter is already there. If your WN limiter doesn't show up here for some reason, you may have to go into your preferences and um, click this button here, Rescan VST Effects next time Audacity is started. Click there, click OK, and then close the application and launch it again. So look, go to Programs, Audacity, open it up again. Okay, so this is the um, dialog. Select VST plugins to install. So you've selected all three, click OK. And now, if you go to the effect menu, W1 limiter is still there. So that's that's all it is. Um, now you can use the tutorial like I recommended. So let's say if I open a bit of audio, I'll go to a, a new recording. So I've got a recording here, a jam, prep video two, here we go. Here's a 11 minute recording that I want to start mixing and mastering. I'm going to go and play it, Let's see what happens. Turn on the volume, of course, so that works. And just to test if WN limiter works, I'll select a section here, go to effects, WN limiter, and there it pops up. Now WN limiter has changed a little bit since my original tutorial. I recommend doing the following. So if you wanted to change the section of the audio to be louder, I would set ceiling at minus 0.5, so enter minus 0 0.5, and then threshold, you can, if you want the volume to be louder in your final video, I'd make the threshold a lower number, so for this one I might try around minus 14.8. I would leave the release at 200 milliseconds because it's a really good default, and I don't use adaptive release. I haven't actually had time to play around with these two settings very much. But I click OK and you can see what happens. So this section of the audio got way louder than the other section. And if you play it, sounds nice. So I'm going to undo that and just close this without saving because I'm not going to actually work on this right now. But I hope that gives you a bit of insight into how to install the WN limiter into your Audacity on Windows 7 using Google, Google Chrome. And I remember to start off from my website, jeffmobile.com, and you can search for uh, the mixing and mastering tutorial there. Uh, that, that, sorry, the mixing. Not really doing much mixing because it's all in one track, but uh, it's a bit of a mastering tutorial that I have. So I'll, I'll provide a link below to the mastering tutorial, the original video that I have uh, 20 minutes how to use Audacity for mastering. And I hope this tutorial helps you get WN Limiter installed on your computer. And if you do have any problems or questions, run into any difficulties, please do email me. I will provide my email below or just send me a, actually it's better if you just leave a comment below this video and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, thanks again for watching. So for more videos from me, Jeff Mobile and Jeff Peters in Vancouver, BC, Canada, please do click subscribe to subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to uh, sharing more music with you in the future and also really encourage everyone out there to learn these amazing tools of Audacity, W1 Limiter, and uh, 
because it really it's amazing what you can do with recording your music nowadays with these fairly inexpensive recording devices for example this this recording i'm currently making i'm doing all the voice and the audio on a zoom h1 which is around a hundred dollars for a really nice quality audio recorder that i actually use for a lot of my bands too and even professional videography work so anyways i'll leave, leave you with that thanks again for watching and hope you have a great day bye bye for now